it's Jen with Cherry Tree Beads and today we're going to make this Tibetan and stainless steel necklace. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is take our finished necklace. So for this finished one, this is a 16 inch chain that I used and then this is probably about 4 inches so this is now about a 20 inch necklace. So this one here is 20 inches and when it's done it's going to be about 24 inches long. So we have these finished chains in different lengths so you can pick whatever you think is best for you and how you'd like it to lay. So what you're going to do is, is just take, I like to take my wire and put it through the two loops at the end and then pull it down nice and tight to where I find my center. And then once you find where the center is, just take your cutters and just cut it. And then you're gonna wanna go back and pull it and make sure that you did indeed get the center. So it looks like I've got one chain length a little bit longer on one side, so I'm gonna cut it again. And that should match up now. So then I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to hold it right here and I'm going to bend it away and create a 90 degree angle. And I'm going to go back in and make a loop around. And then this I want to attach to my chain. I'm going to find the end of that and just string that right on. And then I'm going to hold it with my pliers in the loop and I'm going to coil it back around a few times. And I'm going to cut off the excess wire. And then I'm going to string on my beads. So I'm going to start with these little brass spacer beads. And then I'm going to use these six millimeter faceted turquoise howlite beads. And then I'm going to string on this one. And you can make your pattern however you like. This is just what felt nice to me. And this is 20 gauge stainless steel wire that I'm stringing it on. And now that I have all my beads on there, I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to bend it away from me and then I'm going to make my loop. And then I'm going to add on the end of this other chain to it. in the loop and I'm going to coil it back around and then I'm going to cut off the excess wire make sure that that's bending the way that I want it to All the supplies can be found at cherrytreebeads.com. Thanks so much.